Praise the Lord, welcome to Life in the Word. My name is Minister Manny Renee Jr. I have to my left. Minister Rizal. Amen. As you I'm come in, please like, share, and subscribe to Life in the Word if you haven't already. We thank you for being here today. Yes. We pray your day is blessed. Yes. God is doing great things for you. And always. Amen. We've been talking about praise. Yes, come Praise, on praise, out. praise. <laughs> Amen. And the song says, praise is what I do. Praise we got what praise. I do. It's what I Amen. do. Amen. We are in the 31 days of <laughs> praise. It is a marathon of praise. Come on. Amen. I'm just excited Come about on. the praise. You ever had a marathon of show? They kept seeing the same show, different episodes. Yes. It's the same thing with true. praise. Uh -huh. We are expecting God, even through our praises, that he will inhabit it. Yes. And that he will do something yes. in it. Yes, we started Amen. that marathon. So yes. So praise God. We thank God for our proper name. Amen. Mm -hmm. Lead it into our praise for all the same belong. When we look at Psalm 34, that's where we've been uh, coming from. We last left her off in verse 5. Well, actually, yeah, verse 5, it says, They looked to him for radiant, mm -hmm. praise God. Their faces were never blush in shame or confusion. The poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and mm -hmm. saved him from what? All his troubles. All his troubles. See, and they say some troubles, the all poor, his troubles. Poor. It may not all be at the same time, but guess what? Your troubles not going to last good. always. That's good. That's Come good. on. Mm -hmm. There's some troubles of old that you have, but guess what? Is it still mm -hmm. happening? Yes. And guess what? If it is still happening, some some of them, guess what? It ain't going to last forever. That's right. Amen. I like what you said. Yeah. It may not come at all all the same time, but it's mm -hmm. going to go. It's going to go. It's going to go. All their troubles. Yes. I like that because some people think when God delivered, you just live it from everything at one time. But I like what you say. It may not come all together, but guess what? It's coming. Yes. It's happening. Yes. You understand? All your troubles. God will deliver you. He will. He will. Mm -hmm. You have to keep that uh, mindset of understanding that praise. Your situation won't be the same. No, it wouldn't. A lot of times we think we pray, well, mm -hmm. what is it good for me to praise God? Mm -hmm. Look, everything. It's good for you to praise God. Yes. It, that's, that's what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And if you want your situation to change, you want things to happen in your life, you continue to praise Continually. Him. Continually. Because yes. what is the point of praising God? Mm -hmm. The God that is able to do all things, all things. able to deliver, yes. able to save, mm -hmm. able to rescue. Come on. Why do we praise him? Because yes. we know his power. Mm -hmm. We know his ability. Come on, We sir. know his goodness, his kindness. We know his promises. Come on, This is Jesus. why we praise him. See, yes. I'm not praising because I don't know the, the ability of mm -hmm. God. I don't know his power. No, you praise him because of that. Ah, come on. Starting trouble in here, yes. You Lord. praise him because of that. Mm -hmm. That's why we open our mouth. Yes. That's why we should open yes, our mouth. Because, because we serve see, a God yes. that's able mm -hmm. to deliver. Yes. And to save me what from all of my troubles. Yes. Verse 7 says, The angel of the Lord encamped around those who fear him. Yes. With all inspired reverence and worship. Come him on. with obedience yes, Lord. and he rescues each of them so we see that the lord is in camps mm -hmm. he around, surrounds those who fear him yes. who reverence him who worships him yes. so there's something where god begins to cover protect yes. and he shields those yes. who worship him see you think that your worship is meaningless mm -hmm. But God is protecting you even in your worship. Come on, He's always God's protecting come on. family. God's protecting your finances. Mm -hmm. God is clearing the way of come some on, stuff come on. from your life. Yes, yes. Amen. It says the angel of the Lord encamps those who fear Him. So you got to fear Him. You have to be in awe of Him. Mm -hmm. See, we the people of God, we're not in awe of Him no more come because on. we made God an idol in yes. in some other image and some mm -hmm. kind of fantasy of what we make God yes. to be. We 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 gather components and and pieces mm -hmm. and things to make God what we think He should mm -hmm. be. But you have to look at His Word yes. so that you know who He truly is. Yes. Because it's sometimes God. you make God a, in the way that you construct Him, mm -hmm. and the minute it don't fit that, when your situation happen in your mm -hmm. life and come, that image is destroyed. Come on, come on. Because you only built an image according to your fears and doubts. Come on, come on. And the minute something else happens, mm -hmm. you're going to have to build up another image. No, mm -hmm. you have to know who God is in, in consistency. Consistency. Who You have to know yes. who he always is and who, who he always will be. Yes, yes. So that you can continue to praise yes. him. Yes. Be in awe of him. Be obedient to him. 
Bible says, oh, taste and see that the Lord our God is good. Taste so he is see. good. Yes, taste he is and good. see. He is good. He is good. Do you he believe that good. God is good? He is good. See, if you believe it's good, you can't be the same. No, you cannot. I don't understand, like, how can you be in God and you don't, you have not evolved? Yeah. You're not growing. Yes, yes. One thing I learned from you, I'm preaching on for the past, especially last year and this year, when we, were, when we used to be having the, um, the prayer and the teaching. Yes. You always say, you could never serve God and he will keep you in your funk or keep you in that mess. Yes. He is yes, so good because you love him so much, things must change. And he said, you will never stay the same. You always elevate it. Yes. And it's the truth. Yes. You always elevate it in God. When, when God is good, as you said earlier, when you boast on the Lord and he's good, he's always changing stuff for you. I will never forget that night when you preach and he was like, God will always elevate you long to you give your life to him totally without holding back. Yes. And it's true. God will elevate you and he will change you. You can't, you meet some Christians and they're still the same after all these years. Yeah. Something is wrong with that. Mm -hmm. As you say, you got to go back and see where you fall at. So you could see, you know what I mean, to start to boast in God. Yes. Yes. And I like what you say that. God will always guide you. God will always guide and protect you. Yes. You understand? His angel will surround you. He's surrounding us with some things we can't see. Yes. And things we know about and things we don't know about. So that praise will consistently make God guide you and yeah. protect you. Yes, yes. And, and, and it's an invitation. Yes. What David's giving us is an invitation. Oh, taste and see. Taste. Ah. So he's inviting the reader to come and taste of God, uh -huh. to experience God for yourself, come for your own to self. know God for yourself, for your own self. to know how it is to serve him yes. and to bless him. Understand that what I'm saying is one thing, yes. but you can experience this for, for yourself, yourself. Come and on. know who God really is. Yeah. It's something when you get invited, when somewhere you've been, someone been somewhere already, but mm -hmm. they invite you to the same it's place, that restaurant, yes. that resort, that vacation, mm -hmm. wherever you've gone, mm -hmm. and you invite that person because there's something that yes. happened. When you An experience you took place Come on, where sir. you were. Yes. And guess what? You begin to invite others. And that's how you know the experiences is good. Yes, yes. That's how you know when, when, when you serve God and uh -huh. you know how good he is, you can't help but to mention. Yes. You can't keep it to yourself. Come on. What's going on with you? You can't keep God it to yourself. You. You, want somebody else yes. to, you want somebody else to experience what you experience. Yes. You know what I mean? And, and, and that's, that's what we, we as believers have to do. Mm hmm we want to make people taste and see that the Lord is good. Yes, so that's why we evangelize to them. That's why we tell them about the goodness. Because yes. we, we can't keep it. When something is a person is good to you, mm -hmm. you can't keep it to yourself. Yes, yes. You want other people to know how good that person is. Right. And it's the same thing as you said. You taste and see how good. You want them to have their own testimony. Amen. To have their own breakthrough. To know how good God is for yourself. As you say, you can tell them about it. Yes. But when you experience it, it's a difference. Yeah. Oh, see. Your experience is important mm -hmm. because Satan wants to steal the experience. Yes, come on. Your situation, he, he wants to use whatever's happening mm -hmm. to steal. Come on, you kill and destroy. Yes. The goodness of God. He wants to steal how you know who God is, but the enemy has a way to try yes. to steal it. Yes, come on. And your situation has a way to make come you on. doubt and make this you good. fearful and make you question God. Is mm -hmm. he good? No, it's he good. is good. Yes, yes. He's he is good. good. He's good. But you got to keep tasting and yes. seeing that God is good. Yes. He said, how blessed, fortunate, prosperous, and favored by God is the man who takes refuge in him. So blessed. The, the, see, the man that takes refuge mm -hmm. in him. How blessed is the one um, fortunate, prosperous, and favored by God is the man who finds as God as his safe place. Yes. We, when you take refuge in God, mm -hmm. what is refuge? For those who and get more deep and understand <laughs> it's a condition or being safe or sheltered yes from pursuit and danger and trouble, trouble yes. so what is what is he saying here blessed is the man is the one who takes refuge in him that finds god as shelter mm -hmm. that finds god as his source yes he is blessed he is because blessed. god is his provision yes he's or blessed. her provision yes you you're prosperous when you are under his feathers and under his wings and under his covering, yes. you are prosperous. Come if you on, want to sir. be prosperous, stay under God. Stay under God. That's serious. Stay underneath him. Yes. You want to be prosperous, stay under There's no other way. Yes. There's no other way. 
When you taste and see how good God is, there's no other way. Amen. I, you know, you can't, you can't stop, think about living your life without being under God. Yes. Because being under God, you're always safe. Amen. You know what I mean? You boast in him. You're like, oh my God, I got to stay on him. God is good. Yes, he, is. he is good. I don't understand Christians who be like, oh, I'm a believer, but you always complaining. Mm -hmm. Everything. You, you, you mad more times than oh. happy. Oh. You oh. complain more yeah. times than giving God the praise. Yes. And you always complain about lack more than making God be in abundance. So something is, is really wrong with that. Yes, yes. We, we got to get out of that uh, emotional state where fe you're being led by your feelings yes. to say God is good this yes, day yes, and not yes. good the next day. Come on. No. Taste of God. Know that God is good. Mm -hmm. Know that you've already experienced him and nothing should change that. Nothing. Amen. So he's saying that the man who take refuge in mm -hmm. him, he's blessed, fortunate, and favored by him. Amen. Amen. He said, Oh reverently fear, oh reverently fear the Lord. Come you and the now. saints, believers, holy ones. For to those who fear him, there is no want. Mm -hmm. There is no lack. When mm -hmm. you fear God and you're in awe of him and you're in gratitude. Yeah. And you praise God. And you thank God for what you have. Yes. You begin to come into a place. That, that's fear in God. Because mm -hmm. you understand that it, I, I can't be prideful mm -hmm. to say that I've got this far by myself. Come on. Come on. But I'm thankful for what I have and what he will speak, give me because speak, I stay Lord. in reverence. Yes. I stay Lord. in honor towards the Lord. Mm -hmm. I honor him because I know who he is. Yes. Yes. That's Amen. why you have to stay in that place yes. of reverent fear. Amen. Amen. We're going to leave it off there. We'll pick up tomorrow. Amen. Yes, we pray Lord. the word bless you as always and encourage you and yes. build you up. We in 31 days of praise. So be on. encouraged. Amen. Amen. Share this word with someone. Encourage someone as, yes. we, as we're encourage talking about them. praise. Yes. This could be for somebody. Amen. To bless their life and, and, and may God do great mm -hmm. things as they hear this word. Amen. Amen. So my name again is Minister Manny Renee Jr. I have to my left. Minister Brazil. Please remember Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Lord. God bless you.